Brainchild is a science show. Technically, it's a kid science show, but really it's for all ages. We sort of explore the world of science and remind um, our audience of just how exciting science is through interactive games and puzzles and comedic skits. Each episode covers a completely different topic from dreams to um, social media, space, and the oceans, which is cool because we're not only exploring topics that you might learn in school. One day we're working with puppets and then another day with astronauts and it's just, all over the place. Makes for a good reel, but it was fun. <laughs> I definitely think it's important for um, people to see a young woman of color host a science show because obviously it's not something that we're used to seeing. And it's the truth, you know, someone who's curious about science and even researchers themselves don't always look like, you know, that character of a scientist who's wearing a lab coat constantly and, you know, with glasses. And yes, I do wear glasses during the show, but that's just because I wear glasses in, in real life too. I've definitely gotten really sweet messages from young uh, kids, girls of, of color who, really look up to me and the show. I'm a familiar face, you know, like an older sister talking to them about science and just how cool it is. And to me, that's that's great. I really like having um, that fan base at, at that specific age demographic uh, because at that age, you're choosing role models who you're going to look up for pretty much the rest of your life. And it's such an honor for me to be in that position. Gravity exists, but what exactly is gravity? I thought Bill and I was super cool when I was growing up too. Sure, that's not who I am, but I still look up to those people now to know that, you know, someone similar to me can look up to role models who look like them. And I may have not had that opportunity as a kid. I mean, that's cool. And that's what I'm trying to do with a lot of the creative work that I do. So STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And then STEAM includes art. So the A stands for art. And I think it's really important to encourage kids to go into STEAM fields. Because growing up, I thought, you know, I'm a creative person and that's the only stuff that I should do. You know, I should just focus on art and English and, you know, acting, whatever it is. And even if I was curious about science, I thought, you know, I'm probably not going to be good at it because I'm meant for, you know, doing creative things. And that's such a myth. You know, a lot of fields in science, a lot of careers in science involve creativity a lot, like, you know, computer science. There are plenty of opportunities for people who are interested in science and art. And so this show really emphasizes that. I'm, I'm a science communicator, I'm a filmmaker and an actress, but I also enjoy doing science experiments. And it's important for people who are not, also not scientists, or that's not their main role to realize that they don't have to be in this one box. You don't have to do just one thing. I'm still figuring out how to balance school and show and other things. I auditioned for the show in uh, 2017, fall of 2017. I usually record the tape like with a curtain in the background, you know, and wear a blue shirt apparently that like makes you look good or something. But I wore a shirt with a bunch of fish on it, whatever, you know, fish is science, cool. And um, sort of set up a camera like on my desk and you could tell it was like, you know, a college student's bedroom. It sort of looked like a vlog sort of. And I guess that's what the show was going for. So I, I think they liked that vibe. And I went out for a call back and then booked the show and, and filmed in New York. I'm from Texas, so being in New York is like, a big change. When I rode the subway, I was like, I feel like I'm in Harry Potter, like I'm in one place and then I'm in another. It's like magic. It was cool, like just being in this completely different place. And yeah, it was a bit of a challenge because I was on my own, you know, filming this show, which was like this huge thing. But I definitely learned a lot, you know, just being self-sufficient and working with a team. And of course, all the science that we did, that was, all very fun. I'm really glad that I did it. I mean, there was that dilemma of, oh, I'm still in school. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna finish on time? But I, I took off a semester and then I ended up taking extra classes over the summer and I'm still on track to graduate on time. When it comes to balancing this stuff, I think it's a matter of saying, okay, if I have some auditions this week or I have to work on the show and I also have school, I may not be able to go to that one party or, go to the gym and making those sacrifices is uh, really important. When it comes to 
taking a risk. I'd say do it. Don't let other people tell you what to do, just cause like, if it goes wrong, it's your decision. If it goes well, it's also your decision. It's like, it's in your control. I definitely think, especially art and filmmaking and acting, it's very self-motivated. And if you see an opportunity, it's important to take that opportunity when it comes. You're in the right place in the right time because you take those opportunities and you know when to take it and when to say yes or no. Um, so I'd say just take risks and um, you'll thank yourself later.